and I'm very quickly running out of space. I'm here on my own again and he comes back when, uh, when I'm going to need him for some lifting and some shifting and some talking. Blades, blades, blades. So, there we have it. Front end is on. That is looking lots better. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Look at beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Hi guys, welcome to Make or Break. Uh, as you can see, I'm here on my own again. Uh, Sam's had to skip this week. He's still not feeling very well, so it's quite cold. I have got a heater in the shed, but it's still quite chilly. It's getting towards the evening. I, you know, best that he just gets his rest and he comes back when, uh, when I'm going to need him for some lifting and some shifting and some talking. So, as you saw in, not the last episode, the episode before, we got our panels back, finally. Thanks, Sam. And uh, we started to offer the front end and the roof back on. Uh, only to find that the tornado front end that we got from, uh, from Andy at Tornado is slightly different to the inside of the front clamshell arrangement that we have. And uh, because it's a tornado front end and there's no real reference point on where to fit that to a KVA, we've got our wheelbase ever slightly long. So today I'm going to start to try and remedy that, try and, uh, try and get our wheelbase about right, get our centre of our wheel arch into the inline with the um, centre of our wheel arch in line with the spindle so that our wheels will be perfectly central to our wheel arches. Uh, at the moment we are around about 60 mil out. Um, to rectify that, basically I'm just gonna buzz these spot welds off that are fixing our front end. I shall show you. So, we are just gonna take these pieces out, buzz those little spot welds off that I've just put on there to um, hold it together. And I'll slide this front end down out of the way. I'll then offer the front clam back up onto the front of the car, <clears throat> get it packed off and get it sort of square where it needs to be, get our lines about right, get our door shut about right, and then I'm gonna mark the center of the wheel arch where it should be with, um, with just a Sharpie onto the bottom of this building table. And as you can see, I've already got a reference point as to where our current wheelbase ends. So the idea being, when I put the new clam on, there will be another mark say roughly here, I'll, I'll know exactly when I get it on, um, and that will become our new center of our front spindle. So I'll then be able to remake these pieces of box section and get this front end back and square to match. It's all marked up. Before I turn the cameras on, I just um, marked. So that's the inside of this front chassis piece is 70 mil from the front of the table. Well, I've marked a set of various other lines. So I've got a reference point to where the front end was, and I'll have a reference point shortly as to where the front end needs to be. So um, the wheelbase, we have it under quite good authority now. The wheelbase is somewhere between 95 and 95.5 inches, 95 and a half inches, um, to be correct for a GT40, especially a Mark III. Uh, our wheelbase is gonna be pretty much bang on that. It may be a touch short, but uh, at the end of the day, it's a recreation. So we have to go to the panels that we have and the panels that we have are going to be taken, we have a slightly short wheelbase. Um, but if you have a long wheelbase and, and the, the wheel arches don't look right, and the wheels don't sit quite right in the arch, um, it's never quite going to look perfect. Um, as Sam says, we're hard up, so we're not going to fabricate a whole new front end and get a whole new uh, front clam made, because that'll cost more money than Sam can afford. So uh, yeah, a little bit of grinding, a little bit of cutting, a lot of pulling, probably some swearing, apologies. But hopefully, uh, in not too long, I'll know exactly where the centre of our front wheels have got to be, and I'll be able to get the front chassis put back up in, in exactly the right place and all square, and uh, fingers crossed, with a little bit of uh, messing in the front here, because we're hitting at the front as well, we'll have, a, uh, we'll have a front end which is bang on where it needs to be. Cue the music.
Rồi Not as heavy as it looks. I'm just trying to be careful. And I'm very quickly running out of space. So, front end is removed. Time to uh, try and hang the front clam on. Get it position where it needs to be. Get the body work looking roughly right. And then I can measure the center of my front wheel arches and uh, remark our table as to where the center of our front wheel should be. Do you want a video picture, Sam? because we haven't changed that to make sure that the front pan is on, square and straight. I give my rudimentary tactics, but I am not a chassis builder by trade, so clamps are this. So all those clamps are going to do is they're going to replicate the clam being fastened. So when you put the front clam down on a GT40, you have to sort of Put it down, place your hand up here and there'll be a clasp at the bottom. So all those clamps do is just replicate this being clasped down so that the front end is secure and exactly down where it needs to be. Uh, I'm just going to make a couple of measurements inside just to make sure that I've got the front clam square. Because um, the last thing you want to do is put the front clam on and if you look into the left and then you'll measure your wheel arches to get your chassis about right and realise that it's got basically one leg longer than the other. So uh, I did mark the centre line. From there, away. So that's our front end where it needs to be. So all I should do now really is be able to measure across, find the centre line of our wheel arch, and run a line straight down to my table, and I'll probably find it's around about 60 mil back from the old centre line of our front spindles. That's my guess, see if I'm right. So all I'm going to do is essentially make a plumb line. So I'll take a piece of wire, I'll let it drop down with the weight on it, make a plumb line, and I'll just transfer my line then across to the table. Nice and simple once I find my wire. It's like it's like the first time, which is amazing given that I just done it. Wicked. Back to it. Blades, blades, blades.
There we go. Time to try that. Now, still got to take some of this off before that will fit, but feeling quite a lot more positive. I think it'll be okay. Ninety-four and a half inch wheelbase, by my recollection. I get a, uh, I get a sensible measurement when I've got Sam or somebody here with me. It's, uh, it's looking a lot more positive. I've got my stub axles on my lines that I marked earlier. It's all square, tacked into place. We'll uh, cut and make this top piece of the chassis. Try and alter the front. To get that front clamp fitting. Hopefully, start making some serious progress. Now that is a better fit. So, there we have it. Front end is on. Got some panel gap adjustments to make here. The door's got to be lifted. We've got to get this uh, front clam on exactly where we want it. However, we straighten our wheel up. That is looking lots better. Time you've got the suspension taken up, I'll probably put, put, put a piece of wood under there or something just to lift that up, just to make sure that it's good, but it'll be you know, somewhere there. It's uh, nicely in line with the arch. This side has a hub on it, so a bit nicer to see. 
much better. So now we've got to get from here back to here. The old front end, it hit just in here. It was touching on the fiberglass both sides. The box section was rubbing and the angle of this piece here was wrong. So uh, more cutting, more welding, more trial and error. But there you go, Sam, your front fits. See you soon. Quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then the bell button so you get alerts when we release new episodes and follow us on social media too for extra stuff and more alerts about videos we're releasing, which at the moment is every Sunday and the odd Wednesday too. Bye for now.